Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor William Rogers Barton, born in Philadelphia this day of 1804. He became a science professor at his alma mater soon after graduating from the College of William and Mary. In 1835, he was hired to conduct a geological survey of Virginia. His investigation spurred the development of Appalachian coal mining. He chaired the first meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Though a slaveholder in his early years, the astute intellectual observed that the peculiar institution encouraged violence throughout society. He married an abolitionist. Barton relocated to Boston in 1853, partly because of threats from pro-slavery Democrats. He supported Abraham Lincoln for president. The secession crisis moved him to write, quote, it is difficult to divine how the slavery problem is to be settled, but one thing is certain, that the control of the slave interest in the politics of the continent is done forever. Barton would later, later write, quote, The greatest event beyond comparison of the war is the late proclamation of the president declaring the slaves of all rebellious states after January next to be forever free. On the 22nd of September, this momentous voice was uttered, on that day, in an inspiring sense than ever before, the sun crossed the line. Combined research with the diffusion of knowledge was his reason for establishing the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. A GOP-controlled legislature and a Republican governor granted it a state charter in 1861, but operations were delayed until two months before Civil War's end. Barton served as president of MIT from 1862 to 1870, and again from 1878 until his death three years later. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.